Hello anyone, welcome to another video by Bobby Knockneys, where I'll be walking you through how to deploy a project to Google Cloud Compute. Now you can make any script you want in JavaScript, Python, you name it, and it'll be able to run all the time via the usage of the Google Cloud Compute platform. We're gonna make a simple program that prints the number of seconds since we started the program. Bear with me, this is a tough one. First thing we wanna do is define a timer so that we can wait a second in between every console log. So it'll look like this. We pass in a millisecond value into a, a, a promise and we will await that promise inside our function. Then we're gonna define the minimum time for the loop and we want it to be one second because we want it to print out into the console every second. So that'll look like this. Then what we want to do is uh, just define a variable that says seconds since start. And uh, since we want this server to be running at all times, we know that this variable is global and is going to be able to be accessed every single run. So now what we're going to do is we're going to define our loop. All right, so what we're doing here, right, is we are saying we could define any run condition we wanted, but we're just gonna say it's always true, you know, cause uh, we don't really like to think that hard. And we're gonna say while run condition, we wanna do something. What do we wanna do? We wanna calculate the seconds that have passed on our server. So what we're gonna do is define the current time. We're going to add to our seconds, and then we are going to console log the seconds since the start. So then what we'll do is we're going to wait, depending on the time that our timer calculates. And what we're doing here is we're adding a conditional that states that if not one second has passed, then we want to wait for the remainder of that second before continuing on with the while loop. So what this is right here is we're waiting that period of time, those milliseconds between the difference between the minimum time per loop, which is one second and the remaining time. All right, now let's give the crowd what they've all been waiting for. Let's make sure our function works. All right, let's pop open a new terminal. Okay, and let's say node index.js. Count one, two, three, five, six. There we go, easy as that. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this on to the cloud, Google Cloud Services to be precise. First thing we're gonna do is initialize a package JSON. Uh, we don't care about any of the, uh, the garbage. All right, looks like we're set. Okay, we have our package.json initialized. Now this isn't gonna make a difference until the next tutorial when I teach you how to access Google secrets inside your cloud compute platform. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to take it over to Google Cloud Services. Okay, now where we wanna go, we wanna go to our compute engine, okay, right? And we wanna spin up a new instance. Create instance, all right? We're gonna name it count. We don't care about the region, uh, cause we're not, you know, no one's accessing this data right now. We don't care about the machine configuration. We just want to allow some traffic in, maybe for later, just in case. Um, and we want to allow full access to all cloud APIs because later we're going to be accessing some secrets. Uh, and then we want to create that, okay? I'm gonna wait a minute for it to spin up. Don't worry, you know, keep your pants on. Okay, now that 
our server has been spun up. We are going to uh, connect to it via SSH, right? So we're gonna click this button here. It's gonna open up a window that is bringing us into a terminal that is, exists on the virtual machine. Once we've deployed our script to GitHub, now what we wanna do is create an SSH key on our virtual machine that allows us to pull from our GitHub repository. So we're gonna use this command in order to do that, right? And we are going to pass in our GitHub email, right? For me, that's Bobby Knockneys. Okay, all right. Um, that default file is good. You know, probably you want to add a password to that. That's always good. Now, what you want to do, right, is we want to be able to access the the key so that we can copy and paste it into GitHub, right? So we see right here the public key has been saved here. And what we can do is cat, and then we can paste the path. It gives us our public key that we can then take into GitHub and allow us to have access to our account and you know pull repositories from our github account so you can add ssh keys on your settings page in github right here so you want to do a new ssh key title let's say uh you know cloud compute key and then we paste it in here all right add ssh key now what we want to do before we do anything else is we want to install all of the dependencies for our script. So the first thing we're going to want to do is run the apt get update function. We're just making sure our system is up to date. Now we're going to install git. Just so I want to accept everything that it asked for. Now we want to install Node.js. And NPM. This one will take a while. Once that's done, we're going to clone our repository into the virtual machine. So we'll take our yes we want to continue using that rsa fingerprint okay there we go now we can see that we've pulled our cloud compute test into the virtual machine so we're going to cd in there now what we want to do is install a package globally called forever that will allow us to run our script in the background forever so you're gonna to wanna to do sudo npm i minus g forever. All right, here's the home stretch. Now we are going to start our script. Get ready for this. Forever start index.js. There we go. Now you say, how do I know this is working? How do I know you're not just yanking my chain and that this is all a facade? Let me show you. Using the forever logs command in the terminal, we can see where the program is saving its logs, which we see is right here, which we can do cat and we will take this log file right here and we'll open it up it's been 48 seconds since the server started running that's how many takes I had to do before I got it right so now this thing will continue to run forever you know until the end of time millions of dollars of computing power used cloud computing on the cloud ready to go don't even think about it. I go to sleep, I let this thing run. It works every time, every single time. Thanks, Google. It only costs you a dollar a day, pretty much. I mean, for this kind of utility, a dollar a day, are you kidding me? But it's really that easy to run any script you have on a virtual machine in the cloud forever. Whether or not you wanted, uh, let's say, an order processing server or 
a listener to you know the blockchain you know you're trying to pull some fast ones over on people it can be all made possible using cloud computing software aws or google all is made possible with a cloud computing platform remember that that's a quote all right next time i will show you how to access environment variables via the cloud compute platform that you save in your google secrets this way if you wanted to connect to a database or call an api you could do it through your forever running script it's that easy don't even think about it just let it run while you sleep let it run while you jog let it run while you run I'm tired of letting my computer sit on all the time. I've got internet. I live in the Midwest. That stuff is out every single night. I've got to depend on Google in order to run my servers. I can't depend on my own machine. Until next time, this has been Bobby Knockneys.